Hi everyone, I hope you're coping through this really unusual time. We're in uncharted territory and everyone is unsettled by the uncertainty. I'd like to start by saying that we need to thank God for our president's leadership. We are grateful to God for the wisdom and courage that has enabled our leaders to act decisively. Let's remember to pray for our country's leaders at this time. Did you know that Christians have faced this kind of situation before, not once, but many times in the history of the church? When Paul writes to Timothy, he was in prison himself and the rest of the church was facing increasing persecution. And in this context, he says to Timothy, Keep your head in all situations, endure hardship, do the work of an evangelist and discharge all the, the duties of your ministry. Now those words were written to a church leader, but the principles apply to all of us. We can keep our head in, the, in this situation because we know that our Father God is in control. We can all endure this hardship because we know that God loves us through it all. We can all look for ways to keep on going with evangelism, with sharing the gospel with others at this time. And we can all look for ways to do gospel ministry by sharing the word with each other, by loving each other through acts of service. We should be excited to see how God uses the coronavirus to spread the gospel in our day. And you and I are part of that. The world is watching our response, noticing our anxieties, seeing how we care for others, and observing that we live for another world, a better one, free of the coronavirus and free of the sin virus. But for Christians there is a parallel threat that runs alongside this virus. Over the coming weeks we're not going to be able to meet as much as we usually do. We're going to be spending less time with each other. And that can really have an impact on our, on our walk with Jesus. One of the things God has given us to keep going in the Christian life is Christian fellowship, Christian gathering. So in the absence of that over the coming weeks, all of you, keep going in your own Bible reading, your own times of prayer, reliant on Jesus, feeding on His Word, and loving each other. In the next little while, we will be posting resources on our website that you might find useful in this. Let's not waste the opportunity to strengthen or begin family devotions. Our, our children need us to lead them towards Jesus at a time of anxiety. Let's keep giving. Let's not stop our financial giving. You know that collection this, this past Sunday halved. Those who usually give cash may want to switch to EFT for the time being so as not to get out of the habit of giving. Let's keep connecting with other Christians. Let's reach out to one another via WhatsApp and other social media to those in our growth groups, to those we normally sit next to or, or chat to at church. Let's especially remember the elderly and those at risk. Due to the restrictions, none of our services will be running on Sunday. We will, we will be live streaming, streaming one service only this Sunday at 9 o'clock in the morning. We want as many of us as possible to meet online at the same time. It will create a wonderful sense of unity to know that even though we are not in the same place physically, we are all together virtually. And so we are introducing Church at Home. Until further notice, Christchurch Waterfall will continue to meet weekly online. Let's make it a priority to gather together like this, 9 o'clock on Sunday mornings. You know, it reminds me of the early church. No nice buildings to meet in. They met in homes. So it's back to that for us. This Sunday I'll be starting a new sermon series called When Darkness Reigns. This week we start with Psalm 16 and I've entitled it You Will Not Abandon Me. In order to get ready for that, there are a few things that you can do. Firstly, we will be using our website more and more and more. Please keep checking it for resources and updates. Secondly, please sign up to our WhatsApp group. If you didn't receive notification about how to do that, it means that you may miss out on some of our announcements. Please email us at christchurchw at gmail.com so that you can be included. Thirdly, 
Our live broadcast will take place through our YouTube channel. Please subscribe to it. It's called CCW Live. You can subscribe through our website too. We'll send out instructions for everyone who wants to patch into our live stream in due course. In addition, the service will be recorded and downloadable from our website by uh, noon on Sunday for those of you who can't make the 9am live stream. The service is going to be a little bit different. You won't be able to have live music. There are copyright barriers to us broadcasting music. It'll be about 45 minutes long and it'll include prayers, Bible reading and a sermon. We really want the children to be included too. So please keep watching our website for resources. I hope that over the coming weeks we are reminded of how great, how wonderful it is to gather together and that we're all praying that we'll be able to do, do that again sometime soon. Friends, let's be calm and pray. Let's look out for our neighbours, especially the elderly. If you're alone or you're unwell and have any needs, trip to the doctor, need someone to do your shopping, need someone to pray with you, please won't you use our CCW WhatsApp or email and we'll get in touch with you. Please be praying for Christchurch Waterfall, for our church family. Please be praying for our broader community. Please be praying for our country and for our world. We'll see you online.